starts now. And we begin with this. Some of the most heinous crimes that we share with you here on our broadcast are seeing more convictions. That is according to the Shelby County District Attorney's Office, who says they have had more jury trials this year than in all of 2023. And a big part of that is due to the work of the Special Victims Unit. But as Action News 5's Kelly Cook found out, Kelly, the DA's office says they're still severely backlogged on cases. Is that right? Joy, on average, the 10 criminal courts here at 201 Poplar handle over 207,000 cases a year, and many of those cases uh, take years to make it to a jury trial. The gruesome murder of Heather Cook and her four-month-old baby Bentley grabbed headlines in 2019. Enig Zarsano Turner was arrested for stabbing Cook and her son to death, then setting the home on fire to cover the crime. 2024, Turner was found guilty in a jury trial, sentenced to two consecutive life sentences. Turner was one of 15 cases the Special Victims Unit took to trial this year that led to guilty verdicts. I want to be clear, we're not chasing trials. Stacks. We're chasing justice. Eight prosecutors make up the Shelby County Special Victims Unit. Wednesday, a press conference was held highlighting some of the biggest convictions this year. But Turner's case proves the wheels of justice can be slow, especially for these types of cases. Sometimes the delays are inevitable. You have defense counsel that gets substituted, and then there's a delay, and you know, the defense motions of uh, various time that take up time. There might also be delays because of, you know, we're waiting for uh, lab results. Mulroy also says Memphis Police Department's decrease in arrests and major crimes is also an issue. According to the Tennessee Bureau of Investigation, in 2023, less than 14 percent of all major offenses were cleared by MPD. Despite the increase in incidents, MPD recorded more than 7,000 fewer arrests compared to 2022. I think we need to do everything we can to increase the clearance rates. Um, to help solve cases just like this, like the ones that we're talking about today. Um, you know, I think that, um, you know, MPD is under-resourced and there's more that we can do to help incre increase that clearance rate. One of the things I think would be a crime lab, as I've mentioned before. Now, currently, MPD and the Shelby County Sheriff's Office have to share the TBI lab in Jackson, Tennessee. Often those results can take months to get back. Not all cases go to trial. Many end with plea agreements. So far, uh, 12 cases involving the SVU, SVU unit was solved using uh, that plea agreement. We're live in downtown Memphis. Kelly Cook, Action News 5.